Okay guys, today we're going to raid this base right here. And this base is a bit unusual compared to other bases, I would say. Um, mostly because, first of all, for weird reason, the lower part is mainly stone. And the top part is kind of half sheet metal, half stone. I'm not sure how that's going to benefit them, but yeah. And like you can see, it's right here on the coach line, a beach edge. I don't know what to call it, but you know what I mean. And then they have the coolest entrance ever. <laughs> Look at this. It's just hovering above the ground and exactly not touching. Uh, it's a weird base and it caught my interest and we're going to give it a try. And by the way, the hatch is not closing and opening all the time. It's just a rendering glitch or something. I don't know why it happens, but it, it does. So yeah, let's shoot it right here and let's hope for the best. Yeah, I should we shoot it right here, but this is more in the middle. Okay, right here. There we go. Oh, cheesy! <laughs> I heard someone. I swear I heard someone. I heard some boots hitting the ground. It could have been me, but I wasn't jumping. Is that a person? Can't see from here. Let me stay low for a sec, just to be 100% sure. Because we don't want to die. I don't have a raid base nearby. This is someone else's raid base, not mine. Oh yeah, by the way, there's another big base over there. There's actually tons of bases near this beach uh, line or whatever. We're actually into a loot room as well. Oh my god, okay. This could actually be really cheap if we're not gonna get countered. Well, I guess I just heard myself because I don't see anyone. Maybe the inside the base. I don't know, is it open? It's not. Okay, explosive ammo, here we go. I'm sorry I'm being a bit slow. I'm, I just haven't played for a while. There we go. Uh, we could actually just put the TC right here and close it off. Yeah, that wouldn't be a bad idea. Like that. And then do this. Close that off for right now. And then there. And then let's do this. Just to get an extra layer on. Like that. And then like that. Perfect. And then I'm going to close this off in two sec. Uh, oh, this TC is loaded. That's actually not bad. That's making it all worth it right here. 80k sulfur, I think it is. Nearly 80k right here in total. 13k gunpowder, not bad. And 73 explosives. And then a ton of resources, like you can see. That's really good, actually. Surprisingly good. And that was only one stone ball potentially only two c4s to get into all of this are four rockets like you saw and then there's a loot room here Ooh, six c4s an m2 lovely and airdrops airdrops are extremely good because they drop explosive most of the time so yeah give me satchels with a cool skin on and one normal few a few components yeah, not bad. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I have no idea what else to say than that's amazing. We just made, I would say, five times profit, if not more. Yeah, actually more than that. I think we made 10 times because, yes, it doesn't look like a lot compared to some of the bases I have raided before. But you have to remember... We only used four rockets of destroyed one stone wall to get into all of this. So that's amazing. I wonder if we can pickaxe this one out. I kind of don't want to ruin the one wall into jackpot loot room, you know? <laughs> that could be a great title. Should we try pickaxe it out? On my servers, you have workbench level 3 anywhere on the server. I know it doesn't show an icon on my screen, but that's simply because I don't like the icon. So I got it removed. Uh, I'm pretty sure anyone can turn it off and on, actually. I, I, I'm pretty sure we have a command for that. The same with the raid block and all that. There's normally up in the corner a new feature we made. There's a command for that as well. I'm going to show on the screen right now. But yeah, uh, enough talking. I talk way too much. Uh, what do these do more, maybe? A machete? Let me check. I did zero. Hey, for real. Okay, so I pretty much just crafted four pickaxes right here. That's all I had space for right now. My inventory is filled. But yeah, here we go. Four pickaxes. Let's see how much they will do. And I think after that, we'll just use explosive ammo. We should be doing more than a machete. I'm pretty sure. Right? What? Am I doing this wrong? Oh, now it's working. I guess I just have to hit it more in the middle, like that. Ah, oh, it's working. Half of a pickaxe did nearly 50 damage, so not bad. 
Wait, let me try something. The reason for that, then I don't, then I don't have to hold down control all the time. I can just, you know, use only the mouse. Okay, how much did two pickaxes do? Come on. Oh, okay. Did 150, and that took around seven minutes or something. <laughs> so. It's definitely possible, but I think we're not going to have enough pickaxes in total. But we'll be close. So let's keep going. Let me put the little twig right here again, so I can be lazy and not hold control. And let's keep going. Okay, there we go. How much are we talking? Oh, I thought it would be more. Oh yeah, I calculated wrong. It, it shouldn't be more than this. Maybe a tiny bit. Uh, could I... Wait... Okay, that's not gonna work. <laughs> I thought for a sec we could just move it. Yeah, it's still not space enough. Or I, I can't, I can't reach that far. So yeah, uh, explosive bullets. I simply don't wanna go through another 15 minutes of just pickaxing. There we go. Okay, let's take a look. And uh, just gear set, PvP stuff. Most of these are actually nearly, are actually either nearly bought or crafted okay same with these look either newly bought or newly craft oh, they can't even craft these so they must must have been bought maybe an airdrop who knows but yeah it seems like they just dropped off oh this one is good give me all of that not bad there we go um it looks like they may have been doing a lot of explosive ammo rating or bullet rating whatever because the AKs are extremely low and they had a ton of explosive ammo. So yeah, maybe that's the way they got all this good loot. Maybe they raided like a rich space or something. But enough about that. We made some good profit from just one stone wall. That's pretty rare, I would say, <laughs> to get that much profit from so little. But it happens and today is our lucky day, I guess. So yeah, I'm just gonna wait for my raid block to be gone. Teleport to my main base with all of this good stuff. And then we're gonna go do another raid. Maybe we're going to raid that big base right over there. I guess we'll find out in two sec. Goodbye. But sadly, the next raid somehow corrupted when I was recording it. First of all, the audio wasn't working. Plus, I kept getting like weird glitches and stuff on the screen. Some kind of pixel mistake. It's kind of weird because the first clip was fine. So yeah, that really sucks, especially when the raid was actually kind of good and we were actually successful. I'm gonna show a little screenshot of the loot we got from that raid. This is sadly the end of the video. I'm sorry. I promise tomorrow's video is going to be way longer and there's going to be way more action. So hope you all are ready for that. But yeah, please, if you guys enjoyed today's video, then give it a like and comment down below what you would like to see next. I have thought about doing another grenade launcher raid because you guys seem to love those. So if you want to see a grenade launcher raid, then give this video a like. But that's all. I hope you all are going to have a wonderful day and that you are staying safe. Goodbye.